still have some flooding issues around the area. Uh, actually, we are standing by with Mackenzie Bart. She is going to be joining us. She is at the Scioto Mile. She has more on the flooding issues out there. They've got some high water out there, Mackenzie. Uh, especially this morning and late last night, they really had some issues out this way. And Jeff's still here in front of the Broad Street Bridge down at the Soda Mile, still seeing some issues as some of the sidewalks are closed off. But we've been here for about an hour or so this afternoon, and we have seen some really good improvements here. Earlier on, you could not see the grass, but you could tell as of uh, last night how high that water was just by looking at the trees and all the debris that's collected on the one side of that. You can even see a part of a tree branch down that way. Now, this will continue to uh, start to move off throughout the day. We'll start to see some improvements, but I talked to uh, the Columbus City of Parks and Rec and they do ask that you do not come down this way. As you could tell, even the sidewalk here still covered in water. So this is usually all grass and people can uh, walk, bike down this way, and they're still seeing issues. Now, the river did crest late last night. They are expecting that to continue to reside throughout the day and continue to see some improvements as we head into the weekend. So just be vigilant if you do have to head down this way. Make sure you uh, keep clear of this. They're going to send folks out this way to continue to clean up and help with any of those flooding issues. But speaking of flooding, maybe a driveway or at least roadway near your home has some flooding. I want to show you this graphic right here to show you what that water can do. Only uh, six inches of water can sweep uh, the uh, feet from underneath you, causing issues doubling that. So 12 inches of water could cause problems with your car. And if we double that, even a large SUV could have issues in some of that higher water that maybe you're seeing out here in your neighborhood. Now we're going to continue to keep eyes on the flooding across our area throughout the day today. And we are expecting to see improvements throughout the evening and even heading into the weekend. And we'll keep you updated on that as well. But reporting live along the Soda Mile, Mackenzie Bart, 10TV News.